Hey guys, I want to share with you how I make this super duper family friendly Southwest type rub. My kids sometimes find some of the taco seasonings, Trader Joe's for example, a bit too spicy and I wanted to make something that they could enjoy just as much as us. So for this recipe you're going to need two tablespoons of chili powder and you're just going to add this to a nice big bowl along with two tablespoons of paprika. Something to keep in mind too is that this recipe is obviously very customizable. This is the way that my kids like it. You know, you can do whatever you like. The recipe will be down below. Now you're gonna throw in a tablespoon of cumin. Now this is what gives that, that very um, traditional taste. And once you smell it, you'll know what I'm talking about. A tablespoon of garlic powder. And this is, okay, the salt is where you may want a lot more or a lot less. I ended up putting about three teaspoons of salt. You might want a little bit more. If you don't want any salt at all, you don't have to, but it really brings out the flavor. Two teaspoons of pepper. Again, you can do more or less depending on what you like. Thyme is one of those optional ones that I like, but not everybody likes. And I put about a teaspoon of that in there. Finally, two teaspoons of brown sugar. And this is another one of those things that you don't have to put in. I really like to put it in. It kind of just gives it a better, a better texture, a little bit of a better, I don't know, color. This is the one where it's very customizable for kids. If I'm not making it for the kids, I don't put I put a lot more in than when I do, or if I'm just gonna do some for us, I do less, and that's the cayenne pepper, the red pepper, it gives it the heat. Because you mix it all together, you're gonna add it to, you can add it to a reusable container. This happens to just be an old spice container. You can also buy containers like this from the spice aisle, uh, anywhere that they sell, you know, bulk spices. Now I'm adding it to some chicken. I'm just putting on some olive oil and then rubbing it on top of the chicken that way, doing both sides, coating it nicely. And then once you've got it completely covered, it is, you can see that I like, you know, wiped up all the extra goodness and it's ready for the grill. So I'm just throwing it onto my preheated barbecue. And once they get about halfway done, I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a flip so that both sides, you know, get those nice grill marks and cook evenly. So I'm flipping all of the chicken over and then once it's done, you know, just monitor each different piece if you're cooking it like this where you have the, you know, the different pieces and yeah, this is what it looks like when it's cooked. Again, you might want a little more salt or a little more red pepper, but for the most part, it's just pretty darn perfect. At least all the kids and 10 tried it tonight. Loved it. The adults did too. Really good in quesadillas as well. That's the way that we had it. Um, well, we had some for munching too. And yep, nice, moist, delicious, and ready to eat. I hope you guys and your kids enjoy this recipe as much as my brew did tonight. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.